Hi everybody. I'm just doing a short um, video on uh, how to solve first order differential equation. I'm choosing also that it's linear. It's linear differential equation. And uh, that will help you to study the transient analysis of RC and RL uh, circuits. Uh, the equation should be given in this form when you solve it. Tau times dx by dt plus x is equal to a. And x is a function of a time. Uh, if this equation given in this form, let's just give the, uh, the name of each variable. Tau is the time constant of the system. It's constant. Uh, a is the input. And in this case, it's assumed to be constant number like 10 12 and should be given the initial condition x of 0 so what's x 0 it's the initial condition the solution of such equation will be in this form x of t is equal to x of 0 the initial condition times e power minus t over tau plus a 1 minus e minus t over tau that's the general solution for this equation. So, the solution of this equation depends on three factors. It depends on the initial condition x of 0, it depends on the input a, and it depends on the tau the time constant. How can you sketch uh, this response? Just let's uh, um, sketch it. So, not good straight line. That's t, and that's x of t. So, it starts with the initial condition x of 0, and supposedly that it reached the steady state after a long time, a. So, it will rise, increase exponentially. Why? Because you have here a, 1, minus e, minus t over tau. So, and we have a special case. Let's just talk about the special case. What about if the initial condition is equal to 0? If the initial condition equals 0, we'll just cancel the first term. So you have x of t is equal to a times 1 minus e power minus t over tau. Maybe somebody asking, what about uh, tau? What does it mean exactly? To explain that, let us just sketch this equation. That's t and that's x of t and start from 0 and the final value is a so maybe you'll find some system it look like that let's just choose another color maybe something like that and maybe you can find another one maybe there's a system like that so what do you observe what's different between the blue one and the green one okay the difference is uh, the blue one is faster to reach the steady state faster than the green one. What does it mean? It means that the tau for the blue, this tau, if you call it tau one, and the other one call it tau two, has tau two. Which one is, is uh, smaller? Of course, the one that reach the system first, it's smaller. So we can say tau two is oh tau two is bigger than the tau one because it takes longer time. So that's I mean the tau indication of the how fast the system reaches the city state. Maybe somebody asks, okay. Can you give us numbers? How can you find the value of the tau? Then somebody will answer, so, okay, the tau, it's given here, the number in front of it. I know, but I'm informed of the response. How you can find the response? What's the relationship between tau and the response? I said, that's a good question. Look at the equation x of t, and I ask, find x at t equal tau. That will solve the problem. So you have a, 
1 minus e power minus t is equal to tau, tau over tau. So it will be equal a 1 minus e minus 1. If you do it in the calculator, it will be a 1 minus e minus 1, it will be 0.368. If you have three decimal numbers, subtract 1 minus this number, you'll get 0.6. Um, 0.632 times a. That's x when t equal tau. What does it mean? It means that if you have a response and you reach a, tau will be the time required to reach 63.2% of the final value. If you go down here, you look at this period, this is the tau. So you graphically can do it. So the definition of the tau, tau is the time required for the variable x of t to reach 63.2% of the final value. Call it the x of infinity. That's the definition of tau. You can find that. Okay. Uh, Somebody may me ask, okay, what about if you don't have input or the input is equal zero? Yes, it happens in some system and has a name. We call it source free. You don't have source. So source free, the differential equation will look tau time dx by dt plus x equals zero. Okay, somebody will ask how you find the solution. I said it's just easy. Use the general one and just put a equals zero. So you'll cancel this term. So when you have a source-free system, x of t will be equal x naught time e power minus t over tau. So just let's write that. So the response would be x of t equal to x of zero e power minus t over tau. And the sketch will be different than the other one. Why? Because it will be decaying. The other one will uh, rising, was rising. So that's x of t and that's t. You start by putting t equal zero. When t is equal zero, x is equal x x zero. Okay, yes, x zero at zero. And then every time the t increase, x of t decrease till you reach t equal infinity, almost infinity. E minus infinity equal zero, so x of t will reach zero. So it's decaying. They reach zero. Okay, somebody say, okay, what happened here to the tau? I said, okay. Uh, that's the equation. If you find the value of x when t is equal to tau, substitute by t tau, so we'll have x of 0 times e minus 1, which was cal calculated before is equal to 0.368 times x of 0. So when it reached 36.8% of the initial value, not the final value, because final value is zero. So when it starts at x zero, when it reach 36.8% um, of the value, you go there, that will be your time constant. So the time constant for decay system, time constant for decay system, decaying system is the time required for the response x of t to reach 36.8% of the initial value. So that's for the decaying system. And this one, the time that we have to mention, that's only for the system that rising, not decaying, exponentially increasing for response which is increasing. Okay, so since now we know both systems, all cases, it's now the time for the example. Let's just do example. Uh, assume that this equation was given, dx by dt plus 2 x equal to 24 and the initial condition is equal 3. Okay, before you start to put the general solution of this equation, you got to make sure that this equation 
given in the standard form. Is it given in standard form? No, it's not given in standard form. A standard form should be the constant here in front of dx of by t and no number here. So how you solve this dilemma? Divide by 2. So you have 0.5 dx by dt plus x equal 12. x node is not affected because it's x. It's not in the equation. The solution is simple. x of t is equal to the initial condition which is equal 3 e minus t over tau which is 0 0.5 plus the constant now is 12 not 24. 12 1 e minus t over tau which is 0 0.5 and we can make it I mean um, a nicer form because I don't like t over fraction it's a personal thing x of t is equal to 3 e minus 2t plus 12 1 minus e minus 2t that will be the solution I hope that you understood it this is a simple way and it would be helpful to study RC analysis and uh, RL analysis and also in some system they study in mechanical system. So I hope that you enjoy.